Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go into how to set up your key bindings for your VR controllers. So if you're like me and already have an external throttle quadrant, flight yoke, joystick, and rudder pedals, then we don't want to use the factory default key bindings on our VR controllers. So we're going to get into how to better set up your VR controllers to access a lot of the switches and buttons in the cockpit, but more importantly, we're also going to show you how to be able to press in on buttons with your VR controller. This is going to be very, very helpful for accessing the flight plan menu as well as in your airliners because some of those buttons on the autopilot panel, you have to press in on the buttons. So if you would like to know how to set up your VR controller, stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone, so let's hop right into this today, and if the video does help you out, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button, really lets us know we're doing a good job over here. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is to enter VR mode because we cannot access our VR controllers if we're in PC or monitor mode. Okay, so now that we're in VR mode, we'll be able to select the VR controller in our control options. I'm also using the mirror mode now, so it's not going to be the greatest quality, but hopefully you will be able to see what's going on here. All right, so uh, we're just going to click on the control options. So once that loads in, then we're going to head up here to the top and just scroll to the right until we find our VR controller. We're going to then click on that and we're gonna be setting up the right controller for today. The next thing that I would recommend for you to do is to head down here to the preset manager, click on that, and then select new and start a brand new profile for your controller. So now that you've got a clean slate on your VR controller, what I'm gonna do is go through the different key binds. I'm not gonna show you how to bind every single key, but we are gonna go through a couple of them just so you get the hang of it if you've never done it before. First menu that we're gonna go under today is the VR menu. And again, the easiest way to set all of these key binds up is to use the search by name function. So if you just click on the search by name and just type in toolbar toggle, and you can set all of your key binds up exactly the way I have them here. So we're just gonna go to search by name, again, type in toolbar toggle. And as you can see, once you start typing that in, it should populate right here at the top. Now yours should not have any keys bound to it, so let's go through that process real quick. We're first going to click on the box to the right of toolbar toggle with your left mouse button. And then we're going to select the first menu box here. Then we're just going to press on the button on your VR controller that you want to bind this action to. We're going to use the A button. Once that's done, we can go down, hit validate, and that one is all set up for you. All right, so the next one down in the list here is switch proximity or raycast. Again, we're going to come over here to search by name, start typing in switch. And as you can see, the switch proximity raycast will come up to the top. We're gonna click on the key bind box here. Again, we're gonna select the first box, press on the button on your VR controller that you wanna to bind to, and then go down and hit the validate button. Now, just keep in mind that we do not have to hit the apply and save at this point, but you wanna make sure that when you finish doing all this, Hit the apply and save so all of these settings will be saved. So the next one down on the list we have is the select feature. And we're gonna use the trigger button for that. Again, we're gonna head over to search by name, type in select, and now you can see a bunch of other options are gonna come up here when we type the word select. Just keep in mind, we are going to be looking in the VR menu right here, and that's the one we're gonna choose. Again, we are going to click on the keybind button, click on the first box, hit your trigger. At this point, you shouldn't get any conflicts, but the only reason why I have a conflict here is because the grab world map, I'm using the same button. Now these won't be conflicting because one is on the world map and one's in the cockpit, so don't worry about it. Okay, so now that we've gone through the process of binding all of these to your VR controller, now let's go through the miscellaneous commands and take a look at these. Again, we're not going to go through each of these keybinds, but if you have any questions, post it down below in the comments. The first one we're going to bind here is the VR Cockpit Interaction Right. Again, we're going to be using the trigger for this function, and this is what's going to allow us to flip switches and grab a hold of knobs and things like that. 
Below that, we also have the cockpit interaction secondary action. Now, this is something that I've spoken about earlier in the video about being able to press in on your GPS knobs. The button we're going to use for this is the squeeze button. Underneath of that, we have two more actions here, and they are both cockpit interactions. One is increase and one is decrease. Now, the reason that I have these set up, this is going to allow us to flip switches, especially the three-way switches. The other thing that this is going to allow us to do is you're not going to have to press the trigger button to manipulate any of the switches. You can just use the up and down on the joystick on your controller. So once you got all these set up, let's head down to the menu. And we've only got one in here, and that's the grab world map. This is going to allow us to, when we're on the world map page, be able to use the trigger button and move around the globe. So once you have all those set up, all you need to do is to come down, hit the apply and save. All right, so now that we're back in the cockpit, I'm going to try to show you here. Um, it is really hard to do this because I'm not wearing the headset. But if I go on the center knob now and I press the squeeze button, let me get it in there. As you can see, we now have the uh, cursor populated up on the screen. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for today. Again, if you guys have any questions, post those down below in the comments. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here on today's episode. If you haven't done so, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.